everyone to TNS9. We are back with some more FGC action, specifically Mortal Kombat, especially after that Dragon Ball hype matches. My name is Saki Sakura, and I'm here with... TNS Gentil. Hey, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys doing so much. Yeah, it's, it's been a great time thus far. The bracket has been actually insane, actually, uh, for the matches that we saw off stream. But we're going immediately into... Unfortunately, not top eight, top six this time around because Dragon Ball stretched too far because these guys don't know how to finish combos. That's we crazy. <laughs> top six <laughs> is going to be the new thing right here. Yeah, we got a little Evo flashback for the last year. You're going to have top six action underway. So our first match is something that I do not know yet. But in the top eight, we had Aztec. Mm -hmm. uh, in Winterside, it was Aztec, Beyond Toxin, I actually team? think that's the first match on stream. Yeah, I said Beyond Toxin. Yep. And then who's the other two? Uh, the other two, I think, I believe it should be, it should not, uh, if I know Infinity, it might be too easy in Sinti because Infinity uh, beat Full Auto in Losers, and I know is on the loser side of uh, the top eight. And then it's Sugarness and Parsa. Yes. And then Infinity versus who? That's what I forgot. That's the part I forgot. Well, but that's top eight. It's going to be an exciting time. I mean, already the names are legendary. You got Aztec all the way from the DMV area coming down here to Florida. I mean, it's really cool to it just is. see that. And then we have the OG Beyond Toxin out here with the Havoc. I think uh, he's on, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, he's playing that Havoc. He's yep. on, you know, all the Havoc boys are always sad because um, they feel like he is not strong enough. But, you know, he's, he's a pretty decent character. He's already won, you know, three majors. Just saying. Absolutely. This is actually going to be too easy versus Aztec. Uh, too easy uh, has been rocking uh, the Baraka lately. I'm curious to see. Interesting. Man, the he really just made you eat your words right then and there. Why did you do that to her? She was explaining about your Baraka and just hyping it up, and then you switch on the mid sentence. That's crazy work. It couldn't be me. All right, it couldn't be me. Okay. But he's here with Raiden and I believe Raiden. Kano, if I'm not mistaken, and that's been the most meta that it has been on the character select for a while. It's like people just like to hear what you say and then just immediately switch it up. Because why did he pick Sector as soon as you say Kano? Uh, Kano? That's you know what? It happens. It happens. It means that I gotta be on my toes for these guys. Fortunate things went my way. All right, and here we go. We do have uh, two easy on the Baraka instead of the Quan Chi, but still with the striker and already starting off with getting an opening and being able to launch Aztec into this corner. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, guys. We're going to get that uh, those health bars uh, lower for you guys in just a bit. Oh, checks the toes, but then complete anyone out the words. The 4 3 into Rocket immediately is still up there. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. This is the spicy spot for Aztec to be able to launch with that discharge. And then, of course, we're going to jump over, but we still get hit by striker grenades. Striker grenades are always there. You can just play like Az because he's going to cover you. It's amazing to see. This is going to be a hard knockdown into a safe jump to throw. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Take a bite out of him. Bro, Raiden, you for sure got tar shot, bro. The chip is going to be the issue. But unless... Yeah, that's the problem. It's unless. Ooh. Okay, we got a launcher, but no hit confirmed. That also stopped Striker, who appeared from behind, but chip damage. You do not get that last breath in the first round, so it is going to go too, too easy. It's always so important for you to be able to get those ball blocks too prolong, you know, your life when you can. Oh, the rocket was still Beautiful. there. It's not so fun, is it, when you have coverage to protect you from doing crazy things, right? Yeah, I know it isn't. All right, a lot of ducking here on those projectiles from both sides. It tries to back away, especially after that down three. We're going to try to charge Lock up. But up. We, we got the handcuffs going. Put the bolts away. All right, put them down. Not doing none of that. That's definitely a mind game that's actually going to be interesting mm -hmm. that Tweezy's going to put in play because he's going to second guess Aztec making him charge that um, charge this projectile up all the way. A bit of a down two there. Does block on the low. Goes for the down three check. But the armor move is going to come in clutch for here for too easy. Who's going to keep going for these pokes. Gets the grab. Going to keep it forward throw to keep Aztec in this corner. Oh my god, Chip is going to be so much of a problem. We'll wait a minute. The overhead coming through. What you thinking about? Teleport to the other side. More pressure underway. Armor's through. Oh, Striker, you ain't throwing grenades nowhere, baby. And that's going to be a big confirm, and that should do it. Yeah, this is Raiden. He does practically meterless. Oh, almost didn't do it, but it was the chip out situation thanks to the storm cell. That was real scary right there. Any other person would probably spin Fatal Blow, but Aztec believing that the chip is going to kill, and he played the far back there. Oh, that's why I said right there. That mind game. Him charging it, uh, his projectile up and see if he's going to call up Striker and just let it go early. Now we're slowly seeing Too Easy try to inch Hello? in. But there goes uh, Sector. 
was interrupted because of the projectile hitting sector. There goes from afar Tento with the striker grenade all the way from Idaho. Oh, he had to do it right there. He's like, you know what? I know you're going to run a poke. Oh, my God. That was actually so cheap. That's still plus, by the way. And steps on the toes but didn't believe. Three bars to work with is Aztec. That's plus frames. And we get that sneaky overhead coming in. Tries to go for a grab here, but 2EZ ducks it in time. And we're going to get a back throw from 2EZ for a safe jump into the striker grenades. And then the down one check into pretty much chip. We do flawless block, but the down two was a little bit late. Mm. And still, it is 2EZ's game. Armors right through, and they immediately restart game coming out of Aztec. Trying to knock it back in. Oh, with the auto start! You love to see it sometimes. You know, you want to get that bar early because you know how important it is to get that first bar in an MK game. Massive amount of damage, and because it's three bars to break, you got to kind of second guess when you want to use that bar or not. And it's really good to have it early. Oh, my goodness. The ball box is so clutch. Oh, my goodness. The down one checks here to try to get out of this corner. Brings out Sector. Goes for the low. We're not really seeing Aztec enter into chip out uh, for Storm Cell right after. Sector does go on cooldown, and so does uh, Striker. We're gonna see some of these straight hits, but no real hit confirms. There goes the overhead. This man too easy is ducking for what, brother? Hold the block button, please. It's gonna get killed. You're in the red. It might not be looking real for you. You might not see a list to see another day. Oh, tip is the issue. Brother, block! I don't want to hurt well, how can you block against Storm Cell that just pulls you in, Tento? Man, was a taste. The Storm Cell wasn't even in play. That man just wasn't blocking. Now he's getting locked up. Wait a second. Hold on. Check that go out once again. A bit of a stronger start here for Aztec, who is on that first side. But we're going to see 2EZ come through and continue some pressure. The delay wake up allows Aztec to Superman, oh, but. Oh, no. What was that? Was that Sector's missile? The Sector missile still hit him and actually interrupted his combo. And as a bar, wasted. That sucks so bad. Trying to shimmy this man, but yo, yeah, now he's got. Oh, this is so bad. He's now respecting the plus frames off the sweep. His Aztec so too easy was able to get away with his turn. Wait a second, Aztec. You gotta, you gotta actually gotta take this uh, map right here. There I say, if you don't, too easy gonna take this. Okay, good down two. Even though gets hit by the striker grenades that pushes too easy. On the other side, he's gonna be able to punish and successfully goes on the board to tie it up one to one. Okay, the boys are locked in. Are we gonna get the um? The health bars down. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we are. Yep. Uh, I believe our production crew, who shout outs to them, by the way, working so hard into all throughout today, uh, is helping get those health bars lowered so we can take a look at the bigger picture, the full details on how much health there is. But, you know, that striker tech down to in, especially after some of the blocks on those unsafe moves, pushes your opponent far away that you're going to be able to reassess the situation even if you get hit by those grenades. Definitely so, definitely so. And it's really good to see um, how people tackle the grenades. But if you here is like Melina, she can actually ball roll under certain situations under the grenades if they don't make the, um, the grenade call as tight with the gap. So we got to see. we got to see. But we're going right back into it. The score is tied up one to one. Neither one of these boys want to go down to one in this set. Because I know I wouldn't want to go down to losers at all. Yeah, definitely when you're so close to those to that top three side of things, you definitely want to make the most out of it. But we're going to see Aztec keep it simple. Of course, he doesn't have meter to actually extend these combos. But we're able to block the leg and playing some good defense right now. A bit of a poke here to stagger some pressure and get some form of momentum. We get the overhead, and that was a breaker from Too Easy. I wonder about that breaker, though. I would have added this just to see where the rocket was going to land and see if it would have messed up his combo before I broke. But that's just me. But this is the reason why I'm commentating not playing, so I'm going to shut up and let Too Easy <laughs> do his thing right now. Stepping on the toes and taking this man all the way to the corner. No, another safe jump is going to be a problem. Yep, there goes that Bro. grab right after. It is a strike throw situation. Again, that's a safe jump. You're going to want to try to figure out what your opponent's doing. But the micro duck from Aztec is going to allow him to continue some pressure and go for it. Uh, the sector missile actually hitting him forward. Oh, oh that's that going to hit. Time. Oh, no, oh, it was it? He let it go. I didn't know. I thought he was going to have the armor in time, but that sucks. Now too easy. Goes for the slide into the DMs. Get him to the corner right now. Steps on the toes. The overhead. The throw. But no. Armor coming out of Aztec to Superman. Great. That's a strong armor move in general. So great play there from Aztec. Not going to be able to punish that sector launch. It's pretty much safe, especially at such a distance. We're going to get that forward throw here. And Aztec supermanning out of the corner. A bit of a trade punish, but hey, Aztec's out of that corner. 
is definitely the big thing. You definitely want to be trapped in the corner with Rocket because that mix alongside with the grenades with coverage makes the pressure so insane. But wait a second. Aztec going right under the stand too. Yeah. Oh, grenades up there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Did you see it? Did he know? Right, great block here. It's going to be able to go for the down poke. Not going to get as much of a combo out of here, Ooh. but does get this launcher going. And Aztec going to be able to extend the combo. He's going to go ahead and summon that sector missile and then continue. And for a chip out situation, that last breath, just not enough to deal with Raiden Storm Cell. Aztec is so locked in right now. It's really right now I've been noticing that too easy. Hasn't been timing those grenades as well to keep the uh, gap a little tight so he can won't be get through these situations to armor through. Aztec filming himself right now, laughing tongue out. Oh, yeah, this man's feeling real zesty right now. <laughs> real, real, real good. You know, at the, it's so funny because when you talk to Aztec, he knows that what this character does. He knows what Raiden's capable of. But you know what? As you mentioned, so is too easy with the Baraka and Striker. It's all about timing those grenades. But this is a big dammy com combo as we're going to see Aztec micro duck again, but no full hit confirm on the punish. Not this time, but he's going to take a bite. He's going to switch sides. He's going to go to a grenade call. No, just another throw. I like this throw mix right now. It definitely adds up. Okay, tries to go for the sweep. Now, because Striker was still out, that forward throw is just going to be a pushback. But this is perfect for too easy as pressure is going to mount. And we're going to go for a throw, but it does not land as Aztec's trying to try to climb out of this corner. Grenade. The Sector missile covering Aztec. Grenades, missile, everything's already. The whole arsenal is out here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How does the throw whip is the better combo? Wait a second, he almost right through too easy. Once again, that jump in. Very much plus here. Going to use the armor move. Both players in Fatal Blow territory, but we're going to get Aztec who's going to go for the back throw and then the setup on Sector with the chip out. That's and not going to be in time. Nope, it is not. Don't have the health for it, brother. That projectile was ready to be released from Aztec, who was waiting for any moment that Too Easy was going to try to do to chip out with the projectile. I really hate to see it, but wait a second, kind of shakes the man down, but he's not getting enough offers. Oh my god, that back three almost caught him, but this time it's going to, and he's going to get the air combo as well. Oh yeah, we're going corner to corner, coast to coast. Show me these other living trees. Never mind, he's stepping on the toes again. Oh, that was a it's very forcing to that because uh, Electric Fly, he kind of jumps up. Mm -hmm. The second part of the uh, back three actually whips, so he's not able to get the armor break off of it. Aztec trying to play this full screen now. Oh, Aztec realized he controls the pace, so that's why he's backing up. He realized he does not need to go in. This is true. He can actually play really well here and be patient. He's going to actually delay and gets the overhead and also avoids the striker grenades, but gets hit by the leg of Baraka. It's going to be an instant break coming out of Aztec. Life Lee is definitely still in Aztec's favor, but there's two bars and a fatal on the side of Too Easy. That's why Aztec just flew it down, decided not to go. Oh, my Oh, my, my God. gosh. All right. Not going to be able to flawless block that last hit. Gets grabbed, and it's a back What do you wake up, Fatal? Yes! As soon as you called it, but it flips because of the error. Oh, my God. I respect the decision only because he's like, you know what? You might as well just say go for it. You might as well just do it. But, like, the jump was so good coming out of Too Easy, and now Aztec has another chance. Yeah, Too Easy is here trying to tie it up to go to the game five, but Aztec's trying to clean it up here, so this is that last chance before doing so. And be able to get that extension from 40% too. Yeah, I think. Looks really cool. Aztec is back on the screen. There's a missile on deck, and there's assistance as well. The military is doing great things with Iron Man. I mean, Sector, I'm sorry. <laughs> Safe jump once again. Another grab, and that's going to be a forward throw to push Aztec closer to that corner. No, now Aztec can't walk back. He's going to mm. have to get the Superman to get out of there. Superman to get out of there. And you, saw, you saw too easy to try to clear in that range. Like, okay, I know you want the Superman out, so let me just be patient. But Aztec, weather right in the storm, waiting for the grenades to come out, then doing the Superman to get out. But wait a mm. second, grenades on deck. Another grab, another stab, another safe jump. No, steps on the toes. And now it's looking sharp for you. The folk in the special, Rocket. Oh, no. Beautiful here from Aztec. Not going to actually go for a full combo here because that string is just the overhead. But we have the breaker just in time. <gasps> Locked him up. Oh. Don't you dare slide on him. Oh, my gosh. He threw. Oh There's my no gosh. way. 15 seconds up on the clock. You get a safe jump off this. What you got to deal with it? We're and you get him. Out. Yo, too easy. <laughs> Weather in the storm, showing off the sleeve. He, bro, is it is the bend? Is, is the do-rag golf? I oh, he got serious. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He took it off at the beginning. He was serious from the get-go. 
But we are into game five for this winner's semis. This is our first match of this top eight. And look, we're already going full force and full in. All right, there goes the low here. Asa trying to stagger some of these. That is a counter hit. Oh, it steps on the toes once again. This is what's beneficial for Aztec, always having Breaker pretty much, because he gets that first hit so often. So he's having that meter to break. Unfortunately, he is spending all his resources just to get out of combos and six situations that Tuiz has been putting himself in. And that stand one anti air was so fast, Saki, but he dropped it. Yeah, that last hit, unfortunately, pushed Baraka too far, uh, and that made him go under. But good defense right now here from Aztec, who's trying to just be mindful of these grabs, but too easy is opening him up with it. That's all for nice. And that was a poor throw uh, escape as well. Oh, it ran him down too. There had to be a miss input instead. Mm, and that's going to be. <gasps> Wait. Oh, no. The days are still okay. there. You got so lucky, brother. In that situation, I think he probably should have let you fly, so see if you can get out of there in time away from him. But it's in the past now. You got to you gotta focus on a different timeline. Uh, missed the hit confirm off of the sector launcher, but all good. We do unleash the missile. We try to get the overhead, the micro dust into the corner, but no full hit confirm. We There's do get this down too, though. Did the grenades just whip? Wait, what? They Who did. They did actually. I don't. I don't know what exactly the Raiden hitbox was there, but it does help out uh, for Asek too easy using Breaker. That hitbox looks like a pivot style in What the hell? Oh no, he oh, got hit by the last no. part. That hit went to the kisser. Oh no. Oh, that was a brave poke if I've ever seen one in my life. Jesus. That was a smart poke, though, to avoid the chip damage. We are seeing Aztec stagger that low quite often. Too easy blocking the down two, but tried to close in and still gets caught by the overhead. And another overhead. Final round. God, one of these boys is going to win the finals, and one of these boys is going down under, and you really need to see it. It's been so tough, but you want that protection to win this final so you can try to get to that grand finals on the winner's side. Why? Because that means you had an extra life, and they fighting for it. Yeah, there's that mistiming again on the striker grenades. It's uh, too close, and it's because striker grenades go only so far in the mid screen and the far screen. It's not going to catch uh, Aztec in those instances. We do get a punish thanks to that teleport, but again, not hit confirming right after it. Oh no, he's taking out the bite, and this is not going to be looking too good for right now. Another setup and another stomp. Oh my god, you got right through, but there's armor on deck. Now you're in the corner. This is actually really bad for Aztec. I'm not going to lie to you. He tries to Superman out of there. We do get the missile, and we get all of those projectiles that were charged. Going, there goes the low. It does go into the ender of the sweep. Oh, he's going to throw. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah. Too easy. Look at your last setup. What's the move? You're going to throw this man to death? Are you? He does have strike grenades this time, so he has to hold the mix. Hoax. The down one checks. <gasps> no, oh, oh flawless my. box. Hulk in the special, and that, that is, is going it. to do it too easy. Weather in the storm, taking down Aztec, is now guaranteed top three winners finals. Yeah. What hey. a back and forth, though, between these two. And, and, and the crazy thing is that Aztec did have it in the bag multiple times, and especially for some chip out situations that he just didn't go into Storm Storm. Not too sure why. You know, he didn't have the added protection as Kano was always there immediately. Yeah. Whereas with Baraka, I mean with Sector, Baraka can slide and get away from the miss one time. So it's kind of second guessing when it comes to that storm sail uh, pressure towards the end and those chip out scenarios, which is why you saw him start doing it towards the tail end of the set. But it's like, as you said, probably should have forced it um, earlier. Yeah. So then the mind game could have been created and probably get mixed even more. But <sighs> unfortunately he's gonna fall. That is true. And of course, the striker grenade being like the definitely defining factor. A couple of mistimings here and there, but it really worked out well for Too Easy uh, multiple times, especially in some uh, interesting scenarios. Also, shout outs to the fact that Too Easy was acknowledging that Aztec was down twoing after those unsafe moves into striker grenades. He was very much holding on to the block to try to punish whatever Aztec was trying to throw out uh, in those moments. And that's just like that next layer that we always talk about when we think about these players and how high of a level they're playing. Definitely, definitely. And it's always layers that need to be taken into account, but don't count out Aztec because if they meet up again, Oh, it can be problematic, definitely. Most but definitely. our next match, oh, I'm trying to figure that out right now. I don't see who's over there. Ah, it's going to be Dylock mm. versus, uh, I believe this is Beyond Toxin. Yes, it is. Havoc general versus the General. <sighs> My goodness. This, this one hurts a little bit because it's Florida boys. It's so all Florida boys pretty much out here, man. That's, that is true. That's true. Uh, but it's and like gals, really home I'm sorry. Tip. 
And yes, Infinity, of course, too, as well, yeah. But we are going to see this button check. In the meantime, Havoc versus General Shao. Now, Havoc, this is a character that is like the tank of Mortal Kombat. And so is Shao, too, if you really think about it. But I feel like Havoc is the one that just holds out so much, but also doesn't have that damage factor to be part of uh, his kit. Yeah, Havoc is one of those weird characters where a lot of them consider people consider him bad if you know what he has. It's the knowledge, uh, it's the knowledge checks for real though that you need mm -hmm. to think about with it, and that's why like a lot of Havoc uh, players say that he's not as good is because once you know what this man can and can't do, what does he have? That's when you guys use your cameo. The cameo adds to that mix, and the cameo on deck is going to be striker. Why? Because you want you to second guess after every answer. Don't bring your campaign to Outworld, Havoc. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to let not? these intros go through. Its people need freedom too. And we're hopping right into dialogue on the General Shao with Kung Lao and beyond Toxin on Havoc and Striker. Ball is blocking already on the Kung Lao hat as Beyond Toxin slowly cruises in. Does get the projectile to go through, but not going to be able to hit confirm. Oh, we tried to do an axe call, or did he try to go for uh, the slam right there in his face? Either way, it was disrespectful. It's going to cost you dearly. Why? Plasma's on the deck, and you're in the corner with this man that's... Why does he take himself apart? <laughs> That's his curse, that's his magic, it's the chaos. And the armor, not gonna be enough hits, but we have this launcher that is quick and easy. And we're gonna use the down two to get the side switch uh, and see if this can catch oh, dialogue. But the armor, armor again! Oh my god, Toxin definitely looking like he's on one. And actually, I'm just like, thinking about this. Did these two meet at DreamHack Atlanta? I think so. Oh man, this might be the run back. I didn't even think about that. And already starting off on a great uh, start for Beyond Toxin who's really showing, like you said, that there's a knowledge check, but once you're definitely starting up momentum with Havoc, it, it helps a lot with that second guessing. Uh, again, that launch is going to launch the, uh, Beyond Toxin here from the dialogue side. The Kung Lao hat, he is plus from without his axe, but we get the back throw from Beyond Toxin to push dialogue in the corner. Oh, he's all the way in the corner, but wait a second, we see the armor through, we see the gaps. Oh, he tried to back dash away, but nothing afterwards. Axe is down. It's just to see Dialog go back to the, oh my goodness, this command grab is just painful. It's just to see um, Dialog go back to the Kung Lao instead of him rocking with the Kano, because he was one of the first people I saw, the pioneer to me, when it came to Kano and Shao. This is true. This is actually very, very true, but I think it's just because Kung Lao helps so much, in, in especially trying to set up for those uh, overheads, especially with the axe. The striker grenades interrupting Dialog, but Beyond Toxin in a chip out situation, Gonna have to make something out of it. Dialogue tries to get it. There goes oh no my way. Days. You the have to hit break. Confirmed. And this is already a W for uh this is already a W for no matter what for Beyond Toxic, but it might be actually the kill if this man doesn't try to kill this man right now. Oh my god, oh, grenades still no. there. That's it. The grabbing came in! And there we go, we get the back throw and the side switch. Striker grenades. Brother, go brother, out. brother, 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 oh brother, brother, brother. He's gonna lose no in the worst way. Do you not go back in? Please say you took a second. Don't tell me you took a second. Don't tell me you took a second. <laughs> you got to take a second. He's not taking a second oh after that God. one. That's the worst way to lose with a 10% comeback. And this man's just constantly jumping at you no matter what, throwing limbs. And now he's reading them. Yeah, I'm sorry. Dialogue is on a bit of a tilt right now. And I strongly believe he should have took a second right now. Because he's getting thrown up on. He gets his neck broken. Oh, he didn't do it yet. He said, yeah. I'm done it. Oh, my God. He's so good at traded. And at least the tether is gone for now, so that's an unblockable. He doesn't have to worry about. But this back throw is just going to set up Beyond Toxin in a nice Oki setup where he can backdash and go into the projectiles with the far striker grenades to cover him as well. Oh my god, the little hat. Oh, he died. Mm. Brother, you gave that man air cut. You try to take his mouth away again. It's already gone. Oh, it's over. Yep. That There's was so, so smart. big brain from Dialog, bruh. Oh my gosh. Using the Kung Lao hat to teleport to avoid the tether, but the down two catches as Dialog didn't hit confirm for into teleport and just used it in plain neutral. Oh, poking to get rid of that XM. No, you're not dealing with that. And oh my god, the baton coming through. A grab. We're switching positions. Oh my god, he's going to do it again. Oh wait, he armor two this time around. Can't do the axe slam. We got pressure on deck. Once again, using that armor, that's been a good uh, source of momentum base for Dialog to use to try to get out. But the armor mm. catches 
And is he going to be able to swing Batter Batter out of that corner? But the dialogue not letting Beyond Toxin leave it. He's going to be able to get the side switch into that low. And another overhead to Boots as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to armor? Yeah, he waited for it, too. He's waiting for him to bait it. He's waiting for the armor to come through. Still plus frames. And he gets caught this time around. And that's going to do it into Fatal immediately. Dialog doesn't want to see it. And now he's taking a second. I strongly believe after that first match, after you get come back on by 70%, bro, you need to take a breather. It's not just that. It's the manner that it happened. Because if we look back from that first game, it's the fact that Beyond Toxin could have been chipped out with a down one at any point in time. At least two down ones, and it was still not enough to stop Beyond Toxin to take over that corner. So Dialog switching over to the Chameleon this time around to see if there's a better chance here. Who, again, the assist has been a really strong assist since her launch. He has grenades on deck. He tried to wake up with armor with his um, cameo. I respect that. But unfortunately, it does not work out too well for you. You get thrown up again. And guess what? That was such a big boy. That barely did any damage to him, if you're being honest with you. If you're being real. That neutral duck on the jump in. Saki, he's so prepared. He's prepared every single time. Now, this isn't going to lead into the tether. Instead, that's just going to push uh, Dialog closer to the other side of the corner. We try to go for that overhead. No real pickup here. But you see, this is something that I love that Beyond Toxin's doing. He does the striker baton overhead and really challenges you and said, you think I'm going to grab? No, nah, you're just going to hold all of this pressure. And if you try to backdash, we're going to whip punish you for that. We're going to whip punish you for that. Right now, I'm in dialogue. I, you can't be dropping, brother. He needs all the momentum he can get right now because, unfortunately, he has nothing. Wait a second. That's two for flinching. That's a big counter and that's a big corner carry. <laughs> Grab him. Never mind. Oh, he's grabbing you. We switch the positions too. Break the neck. Toss bro. Shao weigh a lot. Have it. You kind of strong if you're throwing a grown man like that. I mean, isn't Shao like the dragon? So that's like you're carrying a full dragon to the other side. Oh, like that is a grown man. But oh, wait a second. That was such an interesting knockdown. Why did you go from one two after that? Right. Once again, we're getting that low, okay. and this is going to be a pickup. That's Please an don't get that a tether. Again. Yup, this might be very dicey here if Dialog doesn't use an armor move. Oh, mm, please don't no. get come back on again, bro. He's not spinning fatal, but like, it's a setup that's gonna kill him. Oh my god, I could have been bad. Grab him. Nice Great jump. jump. Holy. At this point, I'm sorry, I kind of root for Dialog, because like, getting, getting to come back on twice in a row like that is gonna be like, not good for your health. Ooh, I like combo. that. That was actually almost 20%, and that was just from the projectile full screen into a hit confirm with Melina's size. Okay. Tossing gonna let this combo ride because guess what? He had a bar to wake up with and strike it to cover him. So put it down. Put the plasma down. Dialogue. Answer back. We get another axe slam. And I like that. I like that break. You do not want to deal with the situation him being axeless afterwards towards the front. On the screw. Wait, Dialogue. Dialogue. Answering back two to one is the score. He said, I'm not out of here. I made it to the winner's side, top eight for a reason. That is very true in dialogue. Seeming that this chameleon change has really helped, especially with some hit confirms that have been needed. But Beyond Toxin already starting off the round. We're going to get that tether going. And it is an unblockable, so we're going to get the full crunch and then be able to corner carry all the way. Everything on the dot, the armor immediately. Oh no, the axe slam. I feel like that's supposed to combo, but still, nonetheless, he's getting the situation afterwards. And beautiful using the katana to do that big jump in. The Melina for the extension? My goodness. Out the side. Oh, and a big launch. And he has striker too, so a little bad of damage. And then, boy, is this going to kill him? Ah, no. Unfortunately, that launcher without an extension, like with anything, wasn't going to be able to. But the down one does go ahead and catch it uh, beyond toxin on the counter. Mm, that overhead, and we got the low. It's very hard to block that, especially up close like that. But the Ooh. Jade Rangs come through. Yeah, Beyond Toxin having to use that breaker. And Dialog trying to Is watch out. Is he back? He's walking back. I don't know, man. I, I want to say he was trying to watch out for the down four checks that Beyond Toxin's been using. Down four from that far away. If he had a down four that powerful, I'll be maining him too. That man's T-Bag walking back, I believe. There's no way. I like that poke. Down three check does get the Ooh. low. That's a launcher for Beyond Toxin. He thought that was going up block. He tried to go for the up block because he thought he's going to finish the string, but he did not. He canceled to the low and guess what? Big launch. Oh no! This is looking bad for the fella. Now 
We're not going to be using that bar of meter. Instead, trying to be conservative on it, especially in such a situation. But that micro deck here from Dylos. And oh, we got the fatal blow. It does. It's not going to oh, be able no. to reach. And that's a full punish here for Beyond Toxin. But the breaker from Dylos is going to be able to stop the, the fatal blow or any momentum here from Beyond Toxin. And that's going to be chip. Yeah. There goes the chip damage from the striker grenades to clean out for that round. Beyond Toxin on potential set point. Okay, the jump over, but the striker grenades stop Dialog in the middle of it and is going to be able to keep the pressure going. Going to side switch also beats out the reversal Chameleon Melina ball. And, but Dialog able to get out of the corner, gets the side switch thanks to the launcher off of the, off of the launcher. And now Dylock trying to play defense here, especially against that overhead from Striker, but tried to jump out. So Beyond Tox is going to get a free combo here. Throwing up on the man, talks him in the face. Oh no, grenades are active too, and you got two plasma coming at you. This man keeps breaking this deck. Bro, stop it. He's oh yeah, Dylock kind of scared. I'll be scared too if a man keeps on breaking this deck and it keeps coming back. But wait a minute, Axe is down, overhead coming through. <gasps> Immediate to fatal. Is that going to do it? No, no. The grenade stopped the fatal blow because of the armor not being apparent, being on startup like that. Grab. Nah, but just poked afterwards, and he's poking right back. We playing. Oh my God, he didn't flaw his blocking grenades out there. <laughs> <laughs> just in case the audience missed it, Tylock was like, "I should have down too. I don't know what was wrong with me." There. No, you've been laughing. He said, "I should down too. I'm stupid." <laughs> I love that lock, bro. Oh, my goodness. That lock, obviously a little frustrated with himself, but he's probably going to try to clean it up in the loser side. But Deion Toxic booked his way to fight too easy and winner's finals guaranteed top three. Absolutely. You know, that I feel I 100% agree with you, Tento, uh, earlier on the remark that you made. Going into that second game was not the play. Instead, we should have gotten that chameleon switch a little bit earlier uh, because it was doing wonders, mind you. It was like... Extending combos, especially off of that full screen projectile that we have. You know, the Kung Lao hat was okay, but when you're not even able to get close enough to actually implement that, you know, those are things that are just going to happen here. But amazing job there as Beyond Tox is going to move on with the Havoc, a character that's going to make you be guessing all the dang time. And then, of course, with the striker grenades, it, it was like picture perfect. It's there. definitely problematic. And like we had this conversation truly before we started. The offline aspect of things, you really need to take those moments to take that time and breathe because the energy is different. And Dialog, he, he, he thrives off the energy. Yes. But sometimes if you have too much momentum, a train derails. So you got to be aware of that. Know when to take that breather, calm things down, make sure the coal is in check before you throw more into the fire. But like I said, you're probably not going to see the end of them yet. And by the way, for the guys that's just joining, this is going to be top six. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's not top eight because, like I said, once again, Dragon Ball players do not know how time works. So we got to figure that out for us real quick. And uh, we're going to see what the update was for those losers matches off stream. I might be able to get them myself, you know. Let me, let me find out. As you're finding them, our next players on the screen that you're going to see in just a short minute is going to be our friend from Canada, Parsa, from the Island Crew, and then Sugar Nip Gaming as well. So Sugar Nip being on the Raiden had beat out quite a bit of uh, players out, including Maigo uh, on the winner side, or rather uh, Juan, and then I think it was Maigo, if I'm not mistaken. If not, it was uh, definitely a really strong Raiden uh, Kano player here. And then we have, of course, Parsa, who I know has the Havoc, but I've seen a little bit of the Ashra. So we'll see how mm. that goes out today. She's play He's playing the Ashy Woman? Interesting. Yes. We'll see how that goes. But you guys know Sugar in this game. He's probably the newer kid on the block here out of mm -hmm. everyone here. He plays Raiden Kano. And you know, everybody knows how much we love Raiden Kano constantly. Mm, we're smiling on the inside. I'm not smiling at all. Scared of stupid. But, bottom line, he gets the job done. And he's the only one here, so he's showing you guys, hey, it's not too easy to do offline. But he's doing it, okay? He's definitely making a name for himself. Really good to see him out here doing his thing. He's usually out there with the Madhouse boys. Checks out some Madhouse, you know, um, that's Dakota, Montana, and I believe um, Michelangelo. No, 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 no. Is it Atlanta, Dakota, and Michael Angelo. I'm sorry. That's how it spells Matt. I apologize. But, yeah, those guys always use the game out there on Wednesdays. And 
Yeah, Shook and also be um, going crazy with his rating, so it was actually good to see him offline. Absolutely, you know, had a strong performance over at Frosty's. Again, new kid on the block, like you mentioned. I'm curious to see, uh, comparing a little bit from the earlier Raiden matchup that we saw with Aztec and the Sector Assist coming through, uh, we're going to be seeing what I would call is that extreme meta of Raiden and Kano. Kano being this ambush cameo that does so well, especially because his knives are being thrown even off screen, yes. uh, depending on where you're being, where you're launching it. Yeah, so uh, it's always Kano. You have to be aware of when Kano is throwing knives and also when he's charging up a Kano ball for the background. Especially, you got to look for situations. It's really sneaky off of teleports. Yes. Like, people are always expecting the obvious off of Storm Sail. But teleports sometimes catches people off guard with they throwing knives or what they doing a Kano ball. So you have to do those things you have to be aware of. But on the side of, yeah, Parsa, like, I would honestly go with Astra off rip to see. I know Havoc is truthfully his main, but he's been running with the Astra. Try Astra off rip, and then if you need to go to Havoc, of course, go to Havoc. So I know Havoc is his full-on main um, from uh, from just literally the beginning. I mean, I remember seeing Parsa here back when he was in Florida. He was on CEO Taku, and we're going to see that uh, Havoc, I think, from the beginning. But I do agree with you. If something doesn't work in the first game, this is a best of five. You have a lot of games to work with that you'll be able to go for uh, for some another character and already uh, Sugar Nip roll. Gaming starting up. This man Parsa started off with, oh, he's a demon. Okay, never mind. I wasn't familiar with your game, my fault. <laughs> and there's those Kano knives. Again, very sneaky thanks to that Superman fly. Mm. But we do get the grab already from Parsa. Armors immediately, four, three. Oh, I'm sorry, four, four into immediate overhead afterwards. And Parsa called not blocking breaks immediately. Three bars is very expensive to do, but hey, you had to cast suspended. Let's see what you can do with work with it, though. We're going to see this projectile, a little more projectile base heavy compared to what we saw from Beyond Thompson's match. Uh, Sugar Nip Gaming is going to go for the Armored Superman and then go for the Storm Cell. The Kano Ball is going to allow Sugar Nip to be able to grab Parsa and from for forward, uh, backwards rather, to get the projectile charged up a little bit. Mm, gets a forward throw. Oh, just, he didn't have the cameo active, so it didn't work out too well. But wait a second, the discharge was not too much. The electric carpet, the static, if you will, was not enough. I'm sorry, it was enough to break that armor. That's a big brain move because armor in this game, you have to hit a certain amount of times to be able to break it, uh, especially Havoc's armor. And Sugar Nip calling it out and going for the full discharge to be able to do so. Let's see if these striper grenades can continue to cover Parsa, who's been, who was able to hit with the uh, projectile, but the micro duck from Super Sugar Nip Gaming was able to catch Parsa. SNG is doing mad work right now. The overhead coming through Parsa, he is definitely in trouble. The stackers are on deck. Wait a second, plus frame. Oh, the pants is Okay, this is where we're gonna start seeing Parsa trying to continue that string without the command grab at the end. Sugar Nip gonna force Parsa to use that breaker. Both players a little bit empty on the resources, but the micro duck not gonna be able to get catch anything on that uh, with throw. He's going all the way. I'm looking for another teleport. I think that was SMG, but he's going to get the poke into special. One more chip is going to be inbound. Kano's on deck. Oh, he tried to keep it gapless. So much chip. A good job on the flaws block, so he negated the chip damage for right there. He's staggering. Oh, no. That's going to do it. Sugar Nip Gaming. Taking game number one. Looking very solid with this Reino and Kano, making Parsa think a little bit. Again, this is a very frustrating matchup, especially for a character like Havoc, who, technically speaking, we can go into projectiles all we want, but we have to implement that second guessing mind game, right? And while Striker is helpful, this is where we're seeing Reino, Raiden rather, being really strong uh, in that counter of that meta. Definitely trying to see that going on, but the issue is at hand. Parsa is one of those emotional players as well, which I had, we have to think about here. He, he's been doing better. He has been doing better with it. But you got to make sure you lock in right now. And this is a very important game that he needs to take. Took a second to think about it. Not going to be a chance to trade. And I highly doubt we're going to see the Oscar at this point. But Sugar Nip. He's on the full offensive once again. Kano's on the screen. And there's a risk. Oh, no. Now watch your toes. You thought the overhead was coming. And you hold 30 for that. Was the risk reward really worth it? 
continuation off of the storm cell instead. Sugar Nip is just gonna try to go on that full screen range and try to avoid it. Locks on the low, tries mm. to go for the down one, but that's a whiff punish here from Parsa, who's gonna go into Fatal Blow, try to cash out. No, this will not kill, because Havoc unfortunately does uh, uh, scale pretty hard. Um, also, did you notice the mini game is now yeah, being the shown? the minigame is so good. Oh my God, look at the damage. Wait, Saki, did you lie to us? Saki, you lied! I did lie, I'm Sasaki. so sorry. I thought it scaled! I thought I you were my friend! It was, that was 48%, by the way. Jesus I thought that Christ. scaled! It did not scale at all. That man had to meet, 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 and took that boy out. Yo, Sugar Nymph is gonna fall one round down to Parsa right now. However, Parsa stepping in those pose and wait a second, gets the load to a big launch and switch the positions. I will say this, this man Parsa has been throwing out the plasma. On the teleport reads coming out of Sugar Nips, it's actually been hitting Kano on the other side, so he can uh, he can't get any pressure for free. All right, this is a back throw, so this is a good opportunity for Sugar Nip to continue. Goes for the Kano ball to cover just in case uh, Parsa went for the trade, and we do see that Breaker goes forward here. The <gasps> roll goes under the projectile. Was not going to have enough meter to actually create the tether. Does it not indeed, but wait a second, he's gonna have Kano to keep himself safe. Tries to go for staggers to poke some pokes and gets the throw of his own. Striker shining the light. And take it. Wait, that's actually making him more powerful. Wait, what? Okay, down four checks here from Arsa to take out Striker, who's now on that uh cooldown. Oh, he poked at the plus frames. That's such a brave man, but poking the special is gonna do it for Parsa if he could find it, and he does the down four. Parsa tied up one to one. Hold on. Kind of game. Yeah, it's a back and forth. Parsa adjusting to Sugar Nip Gaming's uh, decision. And we got a little bit of coaching here from Black Jesus. Shout out to, of course, uh, the HDGGG uh, tournament. And, of course, to the fact that uh, Black Jesus is also Tampa native as well. Mm -hmm. He's out here in Florida. He's trying to help out the brothers. And he's always a man that's trying to help out the community. Big shout out to him running that HDGG for MK on Tuesdays online if you guys want to check that out. But the task at hand. Parsa, the Canadian, is trying to get past this man Sugar Nip, who is playing mighty ignorant with the Raid Nip, by the way. Didn't let, just FYI. Oh, hey, there you go. He got a conversion. Oh, he almost did. Plus frames. What you jumping for? Parsa being able to block the Superman, not gonna be able to punish it in time, especially flawless blocking. Another flawless block. This time the punish goes through, and we're also gonna have the opportunity to create the tether. We're oh, going to go for the zone. down four check into that might be it. it. Uh, that just we'll might. See. It does 20% guaranteed, and he's zesting 20%. Throws up the punch to the face. Oh, man. Not like this. No, I don't believe. You never know. No, Flawless blocks. That's actually evasion of tip chip. I, I but believe. there we go. There goes the low. We're going to get the combo extension. I still don't believe. That's not happening. Goes for the low. Another low into the discharge. Tries to jump away from the striker grenades. The low of the projectile, though, catches Sugar Nip as he jumps. Parsa is going to clutch it out. Oh, bro, Striker took the hit from Kano in the background, not allowing him to continue the pressure. And now it's mano y mano plus frames. Teleport goes in. Blo Fall is blocking the Kano ball yeah. from the backside instead. Man, but still. Hit the back. Oh my god, the sweep, that was so good. Yeah, Parsa's Falls box has been on point side. Oh. Good choice of Superman here. There goes the Kano knife, just in case Parsa woke up a little bit. There goes the low pokes on both sides, trying to create a stagger pressure that can open up the other one. The armored Superman comes through. Oh, he doesn't come through, but wait a second, he gets hit by the last part of the storm seal. And Sugar Nips playing the space again. I like the down for to get under. The stabby stab stab, Kano coming through. Storm Cell once again, flawless blocking to avoid the chip damage. Oh, three bars to work with the Parsa. This can be very bad. <gasps> oh, my. Don't get hit. Oh, you mm. saw it. You didn't get a confirm. Both players in Fatal Blow territory. Conversion? This, that could have been it, but Parsa not too confident on that second hit. Just we're gonna, the Yep, we're going to try to cover our wake up meaty with the Storm Cell. And again, Kano Ball goes for the grab. That's that a back it? throw. No, uh, it's not quite. No. Still just a little bit of health. <gasps> Tries to oh. roll in the DM, but no, he this is it. Wait, he has cover though. He's trying to go in. Do another one. Five, Five seconds, seconds left. Oh, that's it. That's it for sure. Parsa. Damn composed, though. 
Yeah, Parsifal can be very composed, but in his heart, I'm sure the adrenaline is just going through right here. As that was a bit of a scramble, especially with such a close uh, time as well. But we have the whiff punish that's going to lead into some big damage. Oh, of course, he didn't have the bar, so he can extend it. But wait a second, the overhead coming through. Checking out his legs. Parsa, you got three bars to work for. You got to use them correctly, my guy. Push a counter hit. Yep. Tries to go for the overhead. We do get the grab here from Parsa, who's been trying to play around with that shrink a bit to definitely catch uh, Sugar Nip Gaming off guard. And the breakaway coming out immediately. The flaws block. Oh, doesn't go for a down two, but goes for the down four. Wants to check the toes. Again, a lot of down four pokes. They have the longer reaching down four, down three pokes to really catch out. The Superman to try to get out of the corner, but Sugar Nip Gaming really closing in on this health deficit. It's in Fatal Blow territory, so really, realistically, it can be there, but goes for the blast breath, and it was just not enough as Parsa is going to go ahead on the board for the first time. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one lead in favor of Parsa taking that time, taking that breather, and staying composed. Sugar Nip's Gaming SMG. Might be in trouble, however, Parsa, the Canadian, the lonely Canadian in this top eight, actually, by the way, I might add, looking pretty comfortable, okay? He says it's hot outside, but I'm, uh, it's mighty cool in here, so this is this is what I'm used to. This is my habitat, all right? I love that Aztec came in uh, to just be like that secondary coach, because obviously we see Black Jesus, who's coming through and helping out Sugar Nip Gaming, of course, again, as that lead in the team, uh, but Aztec also supporting Parsa in this uh, instance at the moment. It looks like both of them might have had a controller issue at the moment. Oh, I, it's actually the sound. So uh, it seems that some of the games have been go kind of go going in and out on some sound. So uh, they're going to try to see if they could get that fixed in a little bit. Parsa went up to fight Dalwak. Oh, wait, wait, we're back with it. We're back with yep. it. We're back with it. I think we're ready. Yep, it looks like we're going to be going back right into it. If Parsa, losing a significant amount of health here, gets thrown to the back and create a full screen opportunity here. As we see uh, Super Nip Game, Sugar Nip Gaming trying to charge up on some projectiles, but Parsa able to get the command grab at the end. Plus Ranks, the armor's right through. He's not gonna deal with him at all. Why? Because he has armor and he has an amulet that they just need to take away from him and he doesn't need to get anything anymore. Take the amulet away, he can't use electricity. Think, think Beautiful. Mark, think. But unfortunately, Striker Grenades is gonna cover uh, Sugar Nip Gaming, uh, rather cover Parsa to avoid Sugar Nip Gaming from continuing on the whip punish. Okay, here we go, we launch. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mr. Stand 3, but he's gonna get the grab reset instead. Now, beta blow in territory for both players. Never mind, it's gonna be a hit confirm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Throw up on him one more time. Think about the actions in the corner. Yeah, these interactions costing Sugar Nip Gaming almost everything, especially when that's such a low health deficit. You're gonna go for the Superman and Striker Grenades take out Kano before the knives come out. Oh, shines the light. Hey, oh, he's down. Okay, teleport goes out, discharge as well. But again, that's a punish still because Kano wasn't able to cover. Kano still on the cooldown, on a very slow cooldown as well. Oh, he double fucking? Oh, you brave, Parsa, but you just know he's definitely feeling it right now, and that's going to be a tougher. You're one with me. And guess what? You break your neck, too. Yeah, yeah, it's not fun, is it? It hurts. It doesn't hurt me, though. It only hurts you. This is one interaction that Sugar Nip Gaming has to survive here. Gets the low. We do get the extension. <gasps> but no, he's he misses drop the it. fatal blow. But oh my god, he's so big brain going into Storm Sail and needed to break that armor. Kano Ball's on deck. He's trying so hard to make sure he keeps up the pressure. But man, it sucks the composer though. The composer. The micro duck. Parsa calling out the grab after the jump and a clean 3 1. But man. That was a back and forth between the two of them as Parse is going to keep moving on in the bracket on this lower side of the top eight. Mm -hmm. Parse is going to take down Sugar Nips. Sugar Nips going to get double jeopardy by Parse. Going down 3-0 the first time, but 3-1 the second time. Definitely made the adjustments. However, Parse also adapted as well. Throwing those striker grenades to get rid of Kano so many times and also continue his pressure as much as possible has been really good for him. It started to overwhelm Sugar Nips, but... I can see Sugar Nets coming back next time very strong. Oh, 1,000%. I mean, look at just the fact that the original uh, matchup was 3-0 in Parsa's favor. And then when we actually see Sugar Nips once again, 
in the uh, this side of the bracket, right? It, it was already a back and forth from each round, like practically going to final round in some moments. And that's just a testament of adaptability that Sugar Nips is capable of. Again, they're also the new kid on the block. So already starting off super strong on this side of, of things says a lot. Definitely says a lot. So good stuff to Sugar Nips, but he unfortunately he is going to fall. Guys, I think the rest of the bracket is going to go. We're going to go to winners finals now. And I believe we're going to let those losers round two's match play out. And then we're going to go back to losers semi. I believe that's how it's going to go. Uh, I think we're missing one losers match, though, yes. uh, Tento. Yes, we are missing a losers match because I forgot about Affinity. How can I forget about my girl? I am so sorry. Do not look at this vibe and blow me up later because I'm just <laughs> thinking too far ahead. But Affinity's going to be going against... against Zintai. Oh, actually, that's a run back. That is a run back. Is You're run absolutely back. correct. Yes. Was, uh, was it taking 3 or 3 1? It was 3 1, I think. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see if we're going to see uh, Infinity go for the Melina pick or if we're going to go straight into the Ashra. Um, you know, either way, though, this is, of course, Florida's best right here between the two of them. Strong uh, Raiden and Kano player here from Zintai. And we're just going to get those buttons checks real quick. But, yeah, again, Infinity's run has been phenomenal. Took out full auto 3-0 right before to enter this top eight. And has been doing fantastic. Yep, it's going to be the Ashra, I think, for sure. And honestly, not to say that Melina is bad because we all know she's not. But the comfortability Kano. with Ashra and against Reino, uh, Raiden and Kano is Definitely a, a better matchup compared Master to Melina. You definitely gave me slight PTSD when you said Reyna because I was like, I saw electrics and I'm like, oh no. Please. <laughs> wrong no. game, Tento. Wrong game. <laughs> Please. I've had enough. Wait, Zentai's from Canada? No. Say less. <laughs> Zentai is Canadian? Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, never mind. They took it away from me. I'm sorry. I apologize. There's a Florida boy out here. Man, there's so many Florida people. Yes. Everyone's from Florida except Sugar Nips and, um... No. Nope. Sugar Nips is from Florida. I thought he's from, um... No, nope. Tampa. KCA. Tampa. Oh, that makes... That, I'm confused. Because I always see him in Madhouse, you know? We do have, uh, though, Infinity here, who's already starting off really well uh, using the Serena pick. This is the most common cameo that you'll find here for the character. And then, of course, Zintai on that Kano, who is already putting, pushing Infinity into this corner position right now. There goes the Kano ball. Does block the overhead, brings out the projectile that is plus. Now, Duck goes for those low pokes to try to avoid the Serena blades that came back. Mm -hmm. The back the positions, and oh my goodness, Infinity looking mighty powerful right now. Okay. Both players in Fable Territory using that uh, metered projectile to go full screen. <gasps> and the bait on the up block! That's a lot of damage! Oh my god, that almost killed. Jesus. This arena says going to Oh, that's it. Yes. Oh, the up block. Fate Saki, but 19. If you guys do not know, if you up block and your opponent reads it with a throw, it does extra damage. I know, that's bonus damage. Also, it's character to have a command grab, too. So you can put on um, her open to 310 if possible. That was an escape failed there from Infinity, who I think was trying to micro duck and get the down two. The down one into the special, but it wasn't going to land. We're going to have to hold that Storm Cell and Flawless Block right after. It brings out the Serena Blades once again. The down four uh, going to be able to take away Serena and put her on that cooldown. Oh, down twos once again. Okay, some stagger pressure here from Zintai. He's going to release the discharge. We immediately going right back in. Oh, tried to go for the poke into Serena, but it didn't go too well. And guess what? Chip is now a big problem. Storm Cell. Both players on full meter. So technically speaking, if they try to use Breaker, they do have a chance to build that back up at some point later in this round if they can survive with the health. No false block here from Infinity, so she's going to hold that chip. We're going to see Zintai expend that meter and get thrown forward. Oh, wait, just went for it? Raw? He didn't use Kano ball at all? I think Kano was still on cooldown, and I don't think he realized it. Kano just popped up again on the screen. We got the cancels off of the back forward, too. Beautiful jump. Holy. Oh, my God. If you believe in that forward, it would have been so much different. Nice falls, boss. <gasps> this is going to be a big punish. And you got Serena as well. You got a bar to spin. This could be upwards to 400 if you do not drop this. Oh, my days. 
Yeah, 42% like you said, and then that low into the mid was perfect for Infinity on this first game. Infinity looking mighty oh, strong right Look at She's locked in. She's most definitely locked oh, in. Oh, this is Women's History Month for real. Oh, yeah, lock in, girl. Go ahead. Do your thing. Fight. All right. Once again, trying to get that forward, too. It's a really good button. has a great hitbox, and it also reaches pretty far. <gasps> we got the last arena hit right there. Perfect to get 32%. Sintai using the armor move to uh, Superman through the projectile. Forward two right afterwards, and a mid-check right back. Oh, yeah. Ten of all on deck. Oh, but the armor through. Great block. Mm. Good I like the usage. Shock yeah, that was a good usage of the shock punish to be able uh, to just anti-air. It is a tricky hitbox, especially when Ashra meter uh, meter burns the uppercut. Oh, gets We're right not under it. Pencil. Okay, there we go. Uses the projectile, gets the forward two and the ender as Infinity now on the first round. Ooh, mm. trying to go for throw, wasn't close enough. So much chip. Okay, mid checks here from Infinity. That does get the down three. Tries to get the two one, but not going to be able to land anything. There goes the armored move as well. We're going to be able to go full screen two. Forward two tries to reach Zentai from afar. Not to be able to land. Serena Blades go out, and Zentai holding all of that chip as well. We'll poke right under. We like staggers, but we like overhead as well. Zentai pushes to the corner. Infinity, which we got to do afterwards. Armor might be coming through. No, the flawless box instead. They get that chip. Ooh, the forward throw. You thought she was going backwards? No, sir. Shout out to Doja Cat. Zentai really trying to get some form of a momentum here and has been unsuccessful. As Infinity has been playing this long reach game, even a little bit better, it's gonna have to hold all of those projectiles. Infinity closing in just a little bit because of that health deficit. Ooh, double poke is crazy, but wait a second, Infinity. Of course you got hit. It was looking like a situation where if you got a hit, Ashra does a lot of damage with Fatal Blow, but unfortunately Kano there to cover <laughs> the boy Raiden's tracks after the poke for blocks. Right. Infinity waiting patiently, trying to play some defense here. Goes for a jump in, goes for a down two, just in case uh, Zintai went for the high. We have the forward two landing. Now, this should be able to go into the forward two, and we're gonna go into the back uh, two, that swipe on the move. However, it's because Zintai had Breaker, it was gonna be on that delayed late uh, form. And then right now, it looks like, uh, Konoichi's very young, Infinity's looking mighty comfortable right now. Why? She got the purple stuff, and this man oh, gets the back there. Wait a second. Might be a change of pace, but Infinity's definitely looking comfortable. She has a huge life lead to work with. Yeah, the Dark Stance, unfortunately, did get the debuff on a once, but not going to be able to continue it. The Serena Blades still coming back despite uh, Zintai hitting Serena in that moment. Infinity still with a significant health lead, so can really play the walk back game and wait for Zintai to close in. Goes for the forward two. Not going to be able to land the hit, but still keeps Zintai at a far reach pace. Oh, almost two once again. He's smelling those gaps that this man is coming through. Oh, wait a second. Pin of all. 20 seconds left on the clock. It's a lot of things to change here. And yeah. I think if anything, you realize that. Hello? Right, right there? He did the low EX. To, we never see it. In, that's the first time I've ever seen it in tournament hockey. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie Serena to Blades land, and that's an easy forward two into the uppercut from Infinity, who goes up against Zintai 2-0 right now, already setting a different pace than the oh. earlier rematch. Oh, yes. It's definitely like she has done her homework. She said, you know what? I see some flaw in your game plan here, bud. Let me expose it, if you will. And there's going to be a immediately go right back in, and that might be detrimental for the man Zintai. Why? The momentum is so much on Infinity's side. Dare I say, it might be a sweep. Another 4-2 oh. landing. Zintai not being cautious of that active hitbox. He's going for the middle option right there instead, not spending any of their own bar. And this is going to be a flawless to answer right up immediately. Wow. Okay. That is setting a tone right there towards Zintai with that entire flawless of a round. And Infinity really utilizing uh, Serena's uh, <gasps> place. The overhead into the uppercut. Zintai has to break there. 
Yeah, she's feeling too much. She has too much sauce right now. Okay, she's, 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 she definitely got the power up for Women History Month. I'm going to be honest with you, Zentai. I don't know how you're going to kill this, bro. I, I, she's just too up. She's too, she's too powerful right now. This is her peak. This is like when uh, Katara was um, waterbending in the moon blood, you know? In the moonlight. It's too much. Here goes. This is a good pickup here from Zintai, but didn't have the meter to extend. Does block the back forward too. Uses Superman, but puts himself in the corner. We get the low into the mid, and another mid as well. Storm Cell to try to chip out a bit. Oh, the back the slide was back God, like, what? It was so micro. She's gaming, bro. Okay. Good defense here from Infinity. He's trying to get that down three poke. Throws out the Serena Blades. Dark stance in, able to land the hit and also get the debuff on Zintai. Waits patiently for the Kano Knives. Unfortunately, still gets hit by the low puck. Now that's the second debuff here. We're going to try to go for the uppercut. Oh, oh no! my gosh. She did the charge in the air to make sure she can dodge the down two. And now the life lead is in her favor. Ten seconds is left on the clock. And Zintai looks like he's going to get lamed out. There's nothing you could do. This throw after delay wake up is basically done. There's nothing. The, the block overhead. with the low, yo. Oh, wow. A timeout situation there as Infinity takes out Zentai 3-0 in the rematch. <laughs> and there you have it as Infinity moves forward. That was actually, I I'm so, it's interesting because Zintai had the answer from before when uh, Infinity did the overhead into the uppercut, especially when it was metered. He did the, the shock grab, so I'm surprised he went for the clap instead when he's, he would have gotten so much more value from that grab, um, especially because of the time left. You know what I think, Wasaki? Hmm. That boy is feeling the pressure. <laughs> I don't think he even knew what button was he was pressing at the point of time after he went down 2-0. That look that he was doing right there, that was a look of thinking. He's like, that was a look of, Honestly, I'm that cooked. first round, that first round was very much He was getting cooked, now. and he was like, oh, man, this is, um, let me get ready for Guilty Gear. Okay, let me get ready for Guilty Gear. <laughs> let me dust off the axle low. It's uh, about that time. Yeah, no, that I think that was probably Infinity's best round. Honestly, she, it's so crazy to see how Astro was playing because, you know, when you look at how Astra works, Serena is a really good cameo for her, uh, truthfully. You know, you can go for the Sonya and you can go for uh, some of the other more ex extending combos. Um, but Serena just does what is needed because, again, those blades are so plus on hit that that forward two reaches. And that's another thing. Zintai kept getting caught by that forward two almost every single time. Man, was a ducking. No. It's a high, but it again, it's such an active hitbox. If you're not careful, it shows. Oh, it definitely does show. And that's what she was mixing in with that. Um, is that her low, her back three? Which one? The one that goes the down? The yeah, back three. Back three. That's yeah, back three. that's why you started mixing that up a little bit more. Wasn't getting hit by it too much, but definitely has. Since I was like, okay, I got a block now. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, if you think about how Astra's kit works, uh, a lot of her more, I would say, crumpled state hits come from highs versus uh, the other hits um, also like she only has that uh, that knee that is the mid check um, the next best button to really catch um, and set up uh, that like okay I have to hold block I can't just micro duck is that low back three and then of course the second hit is a mid so that also is another thing to kind of keep in mind um, where you know she was just again she was just gaming to be honest yes. Tento absolutely like, like. This woman was on a mission, okay? And she definitely wants to see if she can make it far in this bracket. And she definitely can. The Ashra is looking polished. But we've done on the loser side of things. We're going to go back up to that winner side to find out who is going to grand finals winner side between Too Easy and Beyond Toxic. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is a matchup that, like, as soon as I saw that it was set in place, I was wondering how it can go, right? Because this is going to be Baraka and Striker, and then, of course, Havoc and Striker as well actually <laughs> so we have the striker cameosis to really help out things um and see how it, it it can play into effect i mean again striker being that cameo that's uh, so well uh placed uh especially because again it protects you from uh when you do those unsafe moves and more than anything it really it's like almost just plus enough where you can actually hit com uh, hit confirm in a couple of instances we're definitely going to see 
Uh, this is a button check. I, I feel like this has to be. Uh, no, there's a fist pump. There it is. What does he know? Did I, oh, that's Miles was cheeky. Yeah, he knows something he doesn't know. He's like, oh, yeah, you better get hit by something, bro. Hold this. All right, Quan Chi and Kung Lao pick. Oh, wait. Man, I'm done. I'm done. Man's missing Saki in the worst way. She doesn't like this, okay? It's a button Saki check. knows when she's right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was wait, right wait, originally. Oh, she was right. She was right. She was right. It was the quickest button check we've ever seen. In oh, but we're still going to see the, the... We're still going to see... Quan Chi, okay, okay. Have it going in. Oh no, we could just help our lower for you just a bit right now. Okay. Armor break immediately on the stop with the grenades. Oh yeah, that's gonna be bad news bears for indeed. And there goes that tether. We're gonna see too easy, gonna break their neck and that crumple state is gonna allow Beyond Toxin to go ahead and get that launcher again. Unfortunately, Havoc being that low health of a character, we do get the overhead. We have some of these down, uh, I believe that's down four checks here from Quan Chi. And then there goes the armor move. Almost right there, you can set up low head. Oh, he got hit by the second part. So odd. But the grenades are going to do it. Right. And beyond Toxin winning this first round. There goes the purple or, uh, portal, which is going to allow those special skulls to be more amplified. But we get the whiff punish here from Beyond Toxin, who's going to be able to go into this grab. There goes the mix up. You're going to block the grenades and you're going to block this low as well. There goes the tether. We're going to spend that meter. Oh, this is looking so bad. And what is another thing just to add on? Oh, I love the reaction immediately as he's seen the button was pressed. Oh, the nice there. Let's go for that uh, armor and the low. Oh, wait, wait, drain of the bar. Yes. But no, there's still a projectile on the screen. And like you mentioned earlier at the very, very beginning of the, of, of the, this bracket, that orange portal is gives uh, Quan Chi armor. And it still ate through that armor because Too Easy didn't have enough health. Didn't have the health. Also, that matchup kind of sucks. Let me explain why. <laughs> I just thought about something. <laughs> Beyond Tox is one of those players that he really loves using that back two button. And you know what back two does with... Um, what happens specifically, it makes him jump, meaning he can jump over certain pokes. And Quan's pokes suck. And man, he was getting caught wet, uh, after he started pace spacing out after that down four. That is so true. That's, I think, one of the biggest things that Quan Chi players complain about the most is the fact that he has probably the worst pokes in the game. Um, however, you know, despite having those really not so good pokes, he's still a really solid character in the right hands, but I don't really see, uh, I actually really don't see too easy doing too well in this, uh, please don't tell me it's not Natara, and we're going to see Natara, please, too easy? No, we're going to go no, Baraka, no, okay. No, Natara quite yet, you know, we're going to have her off to the side, Baraka. maybe she comes back Stranger. around later. You know, Saki loves us on the tower. She loves to see the Megan Fox do the things in the air. But Rock is on the swing. The Tarkat is still active. Since when is freedom a disease? And this is the change that I honestly expected from Too Easy. The Baraka Striker hasn't failed him yet. I don't see any reason to change. And this, and it might be a significant way, but the Striker Grenades eating through the armor after Too Easy goes for the forward advancing move. All right, Tether goes on the ground. It's going to be Striker Grenades, gets the low, and that is a free Tether hit confirm. We're going to be able to get the air combos and the bounce as well. Lock we him lock him up. up. Bro, and you realize it was a four throw at that too, man. You're so brave. But wait a second. The back three will have it. I don't like the shoes you got on. Let me step on them real quick. Safe jump with a grenade? No. A grenade's on grenades. Oh, no. Ooh, that was a perfect block, and unfortunately, Striker was not coming in in time, so that it was going to be a hit involved as well. Oh, he waited for that moment of hesitation, and he immediately armored through. He's down one checks, kind of killing the Toxin a little bit, as Too Easy tries to go for the safe jump. Man, the tactics would have came through for Striker, because how many grenades he's throwing out of that car, man? That's a ridiculous. Chase. Beyond Toxin using the breaker, the grenades covering the roll. Oh, the bombards would be too easy to win. Yo, that was so good. Here's the startup. 
that's going to be a corner carry as well. Beyond Toxin, very, very low on health. Might be losing. No, still has a little bit of health, but that down four check is going to stop uh, Beyond Toxin from getting out of the corner and too easy going up on that second round. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Havoc still, you know, he, he a big boy. He got a decent amount of help on him. But oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like that was an accident and that was just a setup afterwards. But my goodness, it worked out. Okay, too easy now. to be able to go push towards the corner. There goes that breaker that Beyond Toxin just got. It's not going to be able to build up enough just in time unless some momentum happens. We do get a punish, but Too Easy uses his breaker. And the grenades go out to stop any momentum that Too Easy was getting. There goes this grab. And we're going to throw Too Easy in the corner. We get the overhead. Hopefully, this will kill as we go into the multiple hits. And that is indeed the case as uh, Beyond Toxin, I believe, sits above 2-0 uh, right now, if that I'm not mistaken. So with that, we're going to be fixing those health bars real quick. Uh, again, I think one thing's for sure is that those health bars will tell the full story of how back and forth goes. Again, Havoc being this tank character versus Baraka, who he has the damage, but too easy, just not really able to get that hit in. Striker. For him. However, you know, we're not going to see any changes on the character side of things. You're giving my people bad ideas. Bad ideas. I'm teaching them to fight for their freedom. What do you mean by that? What, what has he been saying to them? Uh, you know, rebel, fight. chaos, anarchy. The, right. The, the, the usual. You, you definitely got my Oh my goodness, you're so lucky you got hit instead. Jesus. Guys, also, if I get really quiet, I apologize. I am <laughs> going to enjoy the music a lot in this round two of this stage. It's like my favorite song. This it is a really good song. I mean, the music in this game is like leaks better than MK11, and it shows tremendously and how it goes. But a micro duck from too easy off of that command grab. Too easy going to be able to cash out effectively. Okay, the downboard check. And then we get the overhead from Striker. The forward advancing move is a counter for too easy. Projectiles go out, down four checks here. And we're going to be able to get the crumpled state. And that's going to be full on damage here for Beyond Toxin, who's sitting on potential set point. Again, up on the board 2 0 against Too Easy. Man, it's been the and then there's that round two music. Yeah, he got the power up indeed. That is plus eight, by the way. Oh my goodness. Plus two again. And you poked after that? What a brave man. We disrespect frames out here. Why? Because frames aren't real. Okay? Frames are shit. not real. That's crazy. In a fighting game, Tenso? Ah, uh, yeah. We don't disrespect you. We don't care about laws. Oh, grenades. That's not, doesn't matter. That's still a crumpled state. Has enough time to eat the grenades and continue full pressure. The throw afterwards. Oh, yeah. Toxin is cooking right now. Okay. Projectiles go out. Grenades also go out once again. The armor move is going to try to help Too Easy get out of this corner. So with grab into the throw and beyond Toxin, moving on to the grand finals. 3-0 at that. Toxin is looking mighty powerful right now, and he is going to secure himself into top two grand finals. Too Easy, got to take a little time to think about that on the loser side, see if he can make sure that he can make his run back happen. However... That was um that was pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie to you, Saka. That was pretty um. That was pretty quick. Barbecue chicken. I'm sorry. I I will say the the Quan Chi was definitely not it. But hey, you know, we tried to figure out the 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 matchup a little bit and and see how it works. I mean, again, you know, we when we were looking at how Havoc plays, he's a character that makes you second guess. Truthfully, you need fast pokes to be able to second guess that. So already having a character that's not in that department. That's what's going to happen, right? Yes. And then, of course, the Baraka was still a really, really good pick, but still, you know, was just not able to solidify and start up the momentum that we had seen Too Easy do earlier multiple times in the bracket. Again, that striker covering Havoc's uh, full on strings just really makes that difference. So I can have an update for you all three. What's up? So, dialogue 3 0 over Infinity. <gasps> wow, really? Mm -hmm. Parsa got a DQ from Aztec. Aztec's in Tekken. Aztec actually made top 32 in Tekken. So yeah, he had to leave out of that. Yeah. Then, 
Dylock, um got a DQ from P Parsa? What is Parsa? Parsa playing in Tekken 2, I think. Interesting. It's, it's hard to tell, but that's why you see right now we're already in Losers Finals, by the way, guys. So Losers Finals going to be underway. Um, too easy is about to fight Dialogue right now. We did a whole fast forward thing right there for you guys. You know what's crazy? We were talking about that earlier and how like it was going to be a top six, but we really didn't need it anyways. We we had had that happen. Yeah. Dragon Ball players, why you do this? We were supposed to be on time. We were going to see Aztec. We were going to see Parsa. Bro, blame Nitro for playing too much, bro. Nitro, why are you like you know what? Let me stop. Nah, I'm 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 gonna blame Dragon Ball. That game's too long. <laughs> <laughs> Playing entirely too Striker. much is actually insane to even think about. But guys, this is going to be losers finales, okay? Between Dialog and Two, easy to see who is going to fight you. beyond Toxin up there on the winning side. I mean, I'm sorry, Grand Finals. Yes, indeed. Now, again, Dialog going for the chameleon pick. I know this is just a button check, but that is a pick that has worked out extremely well. For, uh, for Dialogue earlier, you know, had some momentum that started, but just because he was going straight into those games and not really uh, taking the minute into the character select screen, he's going to be able to uh, see how that happens in this next match. And it looks like we're going to uh, get that, uh, I believe, Hellfire uh, change up, yeah. just set up in just a second. But, you know, again, this is going to be your Losers Finals. If you're just tuning in, this is TSN TNS9, and we are playing some Mortal Kombat 1. How's the match has been for you, Tento? The match has been great. Make sure you guys also follow Juicy Game Night, everyone that's out here. This has been tons of support and tons of good times out here as well. This is going to be a spelling bee later tonight. Mm. Saki entered to it, and it's going to be pretty funny. I entered? Did you put in your name in a raffle, right? No, I told you the line was too long. Put your name in a raffle. I, I can't. I'm commenting. Well, I'll put your name in a raffle for you. Did you? No, I didn't. Oh, Sorry. see? You, and you know what's crazy? I saw you do it for zero, too. I, I had to. I had to. I <laughs> make sure you're right. But there's going to be a spelling bee later tonight. And people are going to be drunk trying to do a spelling bee. That is going to be hilarious. It's going to be on Tampa Never Sleeps. You guys want to check that out as well. It's going to be happening... I think in the next hour, so it's gonna be up. Actually, not, like nine o'clock over here. Eastern Standard Time. And then right after that, we have some karaoke. Uh, I know TK Breezy was streaming it last night. Let me tell you something. I better hear some weeb music at some point. Weeb music. Weeb music. Okay. okay. Weeb I want to hear my Naruto openings. I want to hear my Inuyasha openings. I want to hear my Fruit Baskets opening. I want to hear all the anime classics. If y'all are not singing that, then why are we having a Naruto themed tournament? You heard it from Saki here, so. General Shaw. <laughs> Don't make me come over there. Oh, yeah, she's upset. Okay. <laughs> this this sounds like Mama Saki right now. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Better With, watch like, out. the wiggle finger, like, hey, make sure you do your, your homework. Yeah, please, no. I think we're gonna have another button check really quickly to make sure everything is fine and just rematch the stage so I can listen to Rushi round two one more time as well. I would be very happy if we did. Yeah, this is the button check. So now it's just gonna go ahead and start up. Uh, and we're gonna go, we're just gonna play patient here uh, while, no. oh, we're gonna go back to the character select, okay. No, they didn't have rematch on the thing because they changed it, no. Oh, really? No, I just want, I just wanted oh. to hear Wuxi. It's, it's okay, I just want to hear Wuxi again. Please. I sometimes forget that the rematch button isn't there. <laughs> Pick Wuxi. <laughs> nah, you got Ying for it, for Fortress, uh, Tento. Rise, first to fight, angry. last to die. Baraka versus the general, the man that leads his colony versus the Shao himself. Yo, oh my god, he locked him up immediately. Just get out of my colony. Alright, that katana lift is actually get the, gonna get the jump in, but because Too Easy had the handcuffs go out first, uh, he's gonna be able to get that first bar of meter, but the down two, and then the Jade Ring is gonna be able to continue some pressure. The Flawless Block from Too Easy had to stop that bleeding. He's gonna try to get out of this corner with the sweep. Nice. Oh, that's two for flinching. Hey, hey. Knocked down. What the what is that? It had to be four or three. Breaker used here so late, especially with that health. But you know, let's see if Too Easy can make up for that. Unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. We do get the leg though to open up the eye lock. And oh, the, yeah, the Melina ball God. roll. Dialogue's been trying to get someone with that the entire matches that he's been playing. Breaking up Melina ball roll is insane. But wait a minute, this boy has not been blocking at all. Too easy. You're going to hold a decent amount of damage because of it into a setup, probably. 
Oh yeah. my god, layers on layers. That's the sneaky part about uh, Shao's axe, is that when he does that projectile, it has a hitbox um, on the axe itself and on the ground. So that was going to what too easy. He was going to get hit by. There goes the Jade Ring from full screen. He didn't even need to move. And it was able to clean it up because of the hit stun. That was that like right there. Gaming and his final. That was a flawless victory, by the way, in that last one. And... Uh, Dialog looking mighty comfortable right now. Here's the thing that's unfortunate. Too easy didn't get a chance to breathe no. before he had to take that loss to, die, um, to Beyond Toxic and went inside. So, going to see a match immediately definitely does play a big factor with that. Oh, he's trying to go under it. Yeah, this is another opening. Again, we're going to have to use that breaker, but thankfully it's early enough. The up block, though, that's going to hurt quite a bit. And that's going to be able to carry too easy to the corner. And then again, the Molina size to extend. A bit of a hit adjustment, but hey, Dialog doesn't ma doesn't mind. He's going to keep on this pressure. And once again, launches too easy, gets the side switch. And that is already that first round. This is Tento. like General Shao's chicken indeed. And Dialog is definitely the manager. He is making oh! Aquaman smile so hard somewhere around the universe. And he is having a ball with Molina. Jesus, Chameleon is doing so much work right now. And that setup was cheap. Just in case you jumped to try to get rid of the low, you would have got called by Molina. That is so many layers. Dialog playing a little bit of a defensive game here because Striker is on cooldown. That was going to be an easy punish. And that was something that we've been discussing a little bit earlier about two easy plays. The Striker grenades are being a little bit mistimed. Armor? Oh, he gets caught. You spent Fatal Blow right here. You better. You better. Go no. We're going to go second. for the hard knockdown. The throw gets tagged. That's not going to oh, no. hit him. It does! It, well, it yo! What? Oh, my God! I didn't think too easy. I thought I, it wasn't going to hit him. I, I didn't. I, what? I, didn't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. This isn't too easy versus Beyond Toxic, but this is too easy versus Dialogue. Just let you guys know that right now. My goodness. So that fatal blow, uh, the hitbox actually extends. So that is why uh, we got to see that happen. It, I wonder right here um, where Too Easy goes from here. I like. I feel like he needs a breather. He needs to take a minute um, to be able to regroup on that. Oh, please do. But uh, right now it's looking like 2-0 uh, lead for Dialog at the moment. We'll try to grab him. Wait a second. Just the nade on the way. Too Easy. He said, hey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't going to Wawa yet. I'm about to lock in. There goes that Chameleon Melina ball roll as a reversal, but was unsuccessful. As That doesn't mean that there's invincibility there. That's just a reversal, um, especially to catch you off guard. I'm trying to get the low. We nice do down. get the down two after the fan lift, but the striker grenades with completely. <gasps> this is a whiff punish. And... We might be able to see the launcher. Nope, there goes the breaker from Too Easy, who chooses to break at such a low health range. So the range, you just like, you know, you don't want to go down in rounds, um, around your potential last game, you know? So I respect him doing that. Oh my God, that almost jailed. He was for the, <gasps> yeah. got him with the Baraka Barrage. Yeah, it was one of those moments you don't want to go down in a round, so I respect him trying to um, get that um, breaker right there so you can see if he can try to do it, and he does. So that's really good momentum for his brother, 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 Dylon. Mm -hmm. That was a good overhead for the crumpled state. Tried to keep going for some pressure, unfortunately, was just too short off the distance. Okay, we're gonna see the oh armor move right here to avoid the chip damage. Tries to get to the stop again. Another crumpled, and this is a fan lift that's nice and close, but unfortunately, that Axe Lashao not going to work out too well, but we still keep going for that launcher here that's going to be able to kill thanks to the Axe Slam. My goodness, Dylot is going to look like he's going to take a 3-0 to, to get to his grand finals versus, I mean, I'm sorry, Beyond Toxin. Oh, that's an up throw punish. Look at that damage. Oh, never mind. It wasn't. Yeah, uh, Dylot recovered just in time from the up block animation, so it unfortunately wasn't a punish. Too easy once again getting hit by that reversal Molina ball roll. And it's gonna be where Too Easy's gonna stay in this corner. Not gonna really see too much of a way to get out. The grenades do go out, so this is the opportunity thanks to the hit, hit stun. However, the fan lift is gonna keep uh, Dialog in that momentum, but then the down one checks is too easy. Hello? And some of these Hello? scrambled hits are really making it in for that the hit confirm. Random. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh no, that's a big one. This is 
so bad right now. This bad. <laughs> He's not dead off of this, but the situation ain't pretty either. I don't know, Tento. Oh no, he missed oh, the no, needle! No, and that's gonna be it! Oh my goodness. The knee whiff. And unfortunately, that boy, Dylock, is not gonna complete the 3-0 and too easy gets to live to fight another day. Now, Saki, we know about momentum shifts, and we know yes. how they can get. One crucial mistake just like that can change the entire tide of the inset. So we're gonna see how it goes. I will say this though, Dylock and Too Easy are, it feels like they're playing a regular set. It's not a tournament set, it's just a casual set to them. And they're having fun while they're at it as well. All right, we get a counter hit, but it's not gonna land the hidden. <gasps> oh no, trip god, and you got three bosses breaks, so you're lucky. The life of is just about even, but whoa, 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 there's a neutral jump right there instead of a stand, too. You know you have the one of the best anti airs in the game. Flawless block at the end gets the down to punish. Was not going to be able to block on the wake up from uh, oh. too easy, but that ball roll has been the saving grace for Dialogue, that especially on the though. knockdown situation. Oh my gosh, holy action going mid screen with it. A sweep can kill him. Oh, wait. No, not too easy. That was so smart. That was oh. so smart. That was a trip guard immediately because of the back deck. That was just so many rolls. All right, we are seeing those matches happening right now to try to uh, mitigate the damage. It does kind of scale here, and we do have a little bit of bleed in the mix. Tries to get out of the oh, striker no. grenades, but was just walking back, wasn't backdashing or anything to avoid it. All right, Dialogue trying to get that momentum back again. Like you mentioned, the shift is happening, and Too Easy's been on that side where it's been looking really solid in some of these good reads, like this one again, jumping over the, grand, oh, no the ground slam. Oh my, hey, no people don't see that mid follow-up at all, but man, you missing the punish right there is not gonna be a good look. However, we're going right back into it. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, down one check. Get the axe slam, not gonna be able to land, but we are axe shout, and this should start up some form of momentum, momentum thanks to the breaker, though. Too Easy's gonna avoid some damage. The down one into the grab, but throw tech from Too Easy. Oh no, has to break that. He didn't want to see that example at all. And this is really looking really dangerous for Dialog right now. He needs to kill this momentum, otherwise, he's kind of 2 0. Oh, I mean, sorry, 2 2 all around. Big punish. Nice, a very clean punish. This mm. should mm. 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 kill, mm. yes. I was double checking the meter, but I also forget that this is Axless Shao, and so he has really good meterless combos uh, when he lands them. Axel the micro no. dunk! Oh no, and we switch the position and the extension as well. Oh, this is gonna be a safe jump. Oh, he doesn't, he's gonna go for throw instead. And close to the end once again, and that's a max damage throw because Jay just switched up on the screen for Chameleon. Good down one check. We're gonna armor through that axe slam though, so that too easy can get some form of momentum from out of that corner. We do get the low and it's successful. The oh, you're so oh, lucky you jump. Sometimes you just gotta do it, yo. It's good the bane of a lot of people's resistance since the beginning of time. <laughs> MKX, but like, you know. <gasps> oh no, no, he's dead. Way. That's it. That's it. So Dialog not drop it. You, that was so smart of Dialog. So a lot of people just throw out Jade's uh, Razor Ranks, but you actually can control the trajectory of those ranks. He not only took out Striker with the in all intents and purposes, but he also was able to catch the hit stun because Too Easy thought he hit uh, Dialog in the middle of the boomerang. It's a big brain stuff right there, okay? Super big knew. brain! He just knew. It's obvious, all right? He's a, I'm familiar with your game. And you're getting taken out. So that means it's going to be an all floor. That was all a floor to top three, by the way. But now we got an all floor to grand finals. Going to be between Dialogue and Beyond Toxin. This should be the. Wait, is this run back for top eight, right? This is the run back for top eight, yes. Was that 3 0? Uh, it was It was a 3 0. Or sorry, 3 1. My apologies. It was a 3 1 um, because Di uh, Dialogue switched to Chameleon at the last second. But this is the momentum we were talking about that we needed to see from Dialogue earlier on with that Chameleon Generation. pick. So let's see if we can have that happen. Uh, of ha. course, Beyond Toxin, that Striker. Havoc and Striker has also been phenomenal to watch. Does that season do? Nah. No, I doubt nah. it. I doubt it. I doubt it. It's not happening. Don't, don't Di Dialogue wouldn't play like that. Dialogue's here to win. He's got to try to take it. I can't wait for the chaos Onaga will unleash. Onaga sighting. 
All right, we're gonna go for this round one start. This is your grand finals, everyone. And already taking Chameleon off of the board. Mm. We're gonna get the back throw, though, from Dylock. Grand finals and Johnny House. Yeah, we coming out here. Ooh, that could have been so much worse. Ooh, hold on, the grenades right there, Jalen. All right, there goes the overhead. Projectile goes out. Is it worth that? No, you can't. Ball spots here, the micro duck from beyond toxin. We're gonna get the tether going. Grenades, oh, yes. no. breaks the neck of the shell, the general. He's in the air right now, and he's not having a great time. He's in the corner. What's the setup here? A jump? I'm surprised he didn't down too. I'm actually surprised he didn't up block either. Big baby, Ooh. guess what? That should be the kill. Havoc, so much damage. Oh, wait, chip though. No! Hello? Grenades are always there to <laughs> save the day. You call 12, you know? Johnny's in the white community anyway, so he's gonna be, of course, he had to crown one on speed down. They're gonna come there fast. Okay, we're gonna get the back throw. And then, interesting, to, despite being in the animation, the fan lift from Katana is an ambush, so we were able to actually see Dialog uh, recover quickly and continue combos. But the blocks from Beyond Toxin on that ball roll was perfect. Dialog still getting momentum here from the Axeless Shao. Oh, close to throw this time around. It was a counter. I think he tried to press the button, but hey, that's not going to work out. And oh no, we're tethered. You and I, we're one. Breaks the neck. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. fun. But. It's perfect because it's a down four check, and that's pretty much the unblockable setup right there. As you're going to have to hold all of that. Dialog not blocking. He's going to have to use that breaker. He goes so low. Oh, can you converge off this? Oh no, no it's a little Drop awkward. A. A. Oh, down force. <gasps> Wait goes a the overhead. And the projectile was such a slow motion that Dialog just walked forward. Th thought that he could actually get a hit in before the projectile was active. Have a quiz. Oh my goodness. Toxin, he's like, I'm a little tired, so let me try to wrap this up really quickly, you know? Fight. I'm trying to get this together. Yeah, you definitely don't want to see that bracket reset, at least on the side of Beyond Toxin. Dialog would love to get that bracket reset and start things up again. The downpour check, we do have uh, the Indian shield right now, where that's going to do some less damage if that a Beyond Toxin does land a hit in. 42% Tento. God, whoa. This man shall be hitting, bro. Especially again. Oh, no. And you got Tempo 2. What's the setup? That's what's set up. Let's take a swim. Never mind, we're not going to the pool. The most optimal possible after that crumple setup, but it is Dialog who's going to get the Axe Slam and clean up the first round. All right, Dialog. You're not going down without a fight for sure. He definitely wants to make some adjustments for what happened in uh, Winter Side. Oh, the got smacked. <laughs> it stopped Melina's ball roll. All right, crumpled state here for Beyond Toxin, who's going to be able to uh, grab Dialog with the roll and push him closer to the corner. The grenades, there goes the armored launcher, however. Great block here from Beyond Toxin, who's been very well aware of that Molina ball roll as it happens. Again, grenades go out, tether goes, and this is going to be very clean for Beyond Toxin, who's going to be in this corner, let the bounce combo happen. Locked him up, and then tries to go for the reset. Mine's gonna be costly. Costly. Let's see if Beyond Toxin can get out of the situation. Definitely gonna try, but the downpour going on my turn, and it's gonna be a command grab out for us. Hold this axe and hold this corner. And guess what? You gotta mix again. Overhead? Oh no, it was too close because he got hit. And Toxin. We're making the awareness mission with the 1 1. Breaks the neck. Final round. Toxin, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know, Tento. That crumple state happening once again. Dialog's going to have to use that breaker. There goes the low. So we have Katana fan up. <gasps> no. This is the opportunity to hit confirm. Uh, still, a Beyond Toxin getting hit by the counter hit thanks to the jump overhead. Oh, Mr. Conversion. Oh, no. These drop combos costing Dialog in a lot of situations that he does not want to be in. But he gets a breaker this time around. Goes for low. The safety afterwards, too. 
Oh, plus frames, but he didn't care at all. But oh, Armor through the baton. And Dylock so keeping Beyond Toxin in the corner. Oh, Nuka Poke was coming. Oh, the double poke right there. All right, that's going to be it. Yo. Dylock answering him back in the right way. One to one. His score does a smile on his face. He scrolls through the chin. Oh, yeah. I think he's feeling a little bit. Yeah, Dylock is definitely feeling himself. He's trying to be in that same mindset as Beyond Toxin. Right. Trying to get through these layers. Ooh, the down four getting punished by Dylock as he was swinging on the little startup. The fan lift puts Dylock in the corner. Beyond Toxin getting hit by the ball roll. But Familiar's on the screen for quite a bit right there. I was kind of scared. Like, what's she doing? Yes, I believe because she took out uh, Striker, so she kind of has to. Uh, that's like a slowdown on she her. She walked out kind of menacingly. I'm no, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I was a little scared. The throw though. She was menacingly. Menacingly is insane. They punished? No, but he just caught this man walking back. Mm, there we go. Dialog having to be stuck in this corner. There goes the projectile. Beyond Toxin trying to get those down four checks. Gets hit by the crumple of Dialog Shao. And we're going to get the Axe Slam. He did command grab in there. He can get the corner as well. Oh, no. Oh, Miss Green. Miss Green says. What a pitiful foe. A pitiful Round foe. Two. This man can really, literally, like, die and come back. What are you talking about? Ooh, that down three kind of reached mad far. I didn't expect that. Yeah, that down three is actually an interesting disjointed hitbox. All right, striker grenades. Good patience here from Beyond Toxic Toxin. There goes the flawless block, but still gets hit by the Molina ball roll. You yeah, really hate to see it, the ball roll having that double hit. It could, that, I low-key think it could Timmy. Like, it's actually crazy it has a double hit over it. Uh, uh. I love that. Again, it's the throw animation, but because Katana's fan lift is an ambush, this is going to lead into the extension that you see here. Uh, was able to recover just in time despite hitting through Beyond Toxin's armor. Converge off this? No, he's not, but wait a second. I see this man, Dylon, cooking in the best fashion right now. Spinning it? He's going to break? No, he's not. He's going to hold it. Yeah, Dylock didn't have that third bar, so it wasn't going to be Oh, I'm sorry, I was in the wrong meter. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I can tell. I, it's it's a little bit strange because, like, the camera's player cam sometimes are, like, backwards. But, yeah, you have uh, Dylock, who is now in Fatal Blow territory, whereas Beyond Toxin tries to go for those overheads. Again, oh, the, the armor launcher. No, but the ball roll. He said, ha, 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 He said, I got you good, didn't I? Was that a, 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 an actual cheeky reset that you know, we just saw? I'll give it to him. He said, ha, ha, he, he had a little ha, ha, point up. He was, like, he was like, yeah, I got you with that one. You weren't ready for it, yep. You played into my trap card. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> and we're going to go to game, uh, the leaping three. Oh, sorry, game four, if I'm not mistaken, with Dylock, who is on uh, the winning side potential set point. Or potential game point, rather. Yeah, we can get that reset point right here, right now, if Dialog decides to take it. But Beyond Tops can definitely lock in if he really wants to. The wave dashes in order to get that extension was crazy. Yo, Dialog, you kind of cooking, bro. Let me find out. You get stronger than the loser side. That Razor Rank just missing by a hair's inch on Beyond Toxin. We're going to see the tether go forth. And there goes the unblockable. Oh, he can do it again because the grenades interrupt the information. A, yep. a, a. That's going to be a bounce combo all the way to the corner. It's a hard knock life indeed. Beyond Toxin trying to mitigate with that uh, that projectile. Both players in Fatal Blow with the mm. anti-air. This is what we needed to see from Beyond Toxin, especially some of these jump-ins that Dialog has been able to get momentum from. No armor. Oh, he thought he was going to grab for sure. More plus frames. More plus frames. Ooh, he got it. So getting opened up by the stagger pressure and then the pokes. Round two. Fire. People claim for the reset in the cloud, but right now I don't think Beyond Toxin want to hit none of that. He's spinning around with the torso and he's going nuts. The sweep with the disjoint leg is crazy. Stop it. Overhead yep. into the fan lift. Oh my god, Sock, he's doing bombos. Yeah, this is going to hurt Beyond Toxin quite a bit. However, the drop combo off of the size extender, not going to be able to get much out of it. Oh, me and you, you got one. 
Oh, he Ooh. hit Chameleon too to get rid of the Day Blade. That is so good. Look and at the red. That adds da more damage to be on Toxin. He's going to be able to block the Melina Ball Rope, but was too far screen to be able to punish the reversal attempt. Ooh, there the goes the grab. Oh. Toxin. He's looking real good, but wait a second. The stand too immediate. Are you spinning fatal? No, nah, he's not. Oh, Ooh. the invincibility was so good. The jump. Oh, no. How did he get out of that? There's 30 seconds left on the clock, and I don't know what he's going to do. What's the read? He still has overhead from Melina. Oh, wait, never mind. That was uh, the uh, auto target for the projectile. So that was what's going to seal the deal here for Beyond Toxin, who we're going into game five. To determine if we're going to see that bracket reset or Beyond Toxin is your TNS9 winner. All comes down to this final game. We're going to find out. We might get another three games, or we might end the tournament right here, right now. TNS 9 for MK1. Grand finals between Nightlock and Beyond Toxic. Beyond Toxic on that winner's side. So, if you guys want Beyond Toxic to go, let me get a one in the chat. If you want Dialog to take it, let me get a two in the chat. You guys have been wonderful thus far, but we're going to see who the champion is. And we got my stage. I'm happy. <laughs> We got it. After a couple of stages, we got it, Tento. And it's already a crumpled state here that Dilox is going to experience as Beyond Toxin is going to carry him into the Zen Garden corner. Struggling back every day. I wonder why you don't listen. I just want to. Anyway, going right back in and down four. Oh, that's going to be a conversion. Very nice conversion as well. But because of the armored launcher, projectile doesn't cover. No punish, but we do take out Chameleon. And this is actually perfect for Beyond Toxin. We're going to get closer and closer to this corner uh, and also to the end of the round. But again, Dialog still standing alive. But there goes the Striker Grenade's potential game point here for Beyond Toxin. Oh my god. Tournament point for Beyond Toxin. You can take it right here, right now. This man's child is trying to chop down the tree, but I'm not trying to hear none of that. Why? Because round two music is on. Let me be quiet. Okay. We're going to get the forward throw. Push Dialog still again in this corner. Backs away, but the fan lift keeps Dialog safe, but the anti-air projectile as a slow startup. We're going to be able to cover ourselves thanks to the targeted proje projectile. Here we have Beyond Toxin who activates the command grab at the end. He's been very cheeky on that, not trying to use it right away. The down three checks, down four, but that still leaves Dialog to use the fan lift. Beyond Toxin having to use the breaker in that moment. Oh my god, but this is a big kill that this man Dialog has to climb. It looks like, oh, it looks like Havoc might take another offline event. However, we're going to find out the down four coming through. Staying composed. Oh, that's another throw. This is looking so bad for him right now. Grenades on deck, and this is going to be another jump. And oh no, this could possibly be convert. it. The, the double lift. down four. Beyond Toxin shall take TNS9 at the Hard Bar Grand Finals 3 to 2 over the man Dylock. What a different game, by the way, compared to the winner's finals that we saw earlier between Beyond Toxin and Dialog. And honestly, it's that chameleon cameo. It changed the momentum. And truth be told, there were, uh, again, there were moments where we did see Dialog ready to uh, go gain a, a shift in those situations with the Katana fan lift, but just wasn't able to land those hits in necessarily, um, unfortunately, in those uh, moments. It was unfortunate, however, Dialog couldn't close, he couldn't quite get that reset that he wanted because Dialog, I'm sorry, Beyond Toxin was just throwing a grenade. I'm sorry, Taxis was up. Spiker said, you know what, it's up. You know what, how many grenades you need, bro? I can get you all the thing. And he was doing it dirty, okay? Doing it dirty in front of the Wuxi, in front of the monks at that. Gonna take it. Big shouts to Toxin defending Florida. Well, Florida was already here. What am I talking about? Florida defended itself. <laughs> doing a great job out there. True, Pito, I think maybe one person was not in Florida, and that was, uh, that was that's actually just uh, Parsa, Parsa, who was in Canada. So, oh, actually two, because Aztec's DMB yeah. as well. So, you know, there you have it there. Uh, I believe we're just waiting for the award ceremony to happen here as our top eight gets their headbands uh, in just a few minutes. But, you know, kind of going back into just how insane those matches were, that's it was crazy because Dialog was on that momentum from Too Easy's match. Oh yes, he was. He was. He definitely was. Yeah, those that win from Too Easy was exactly what he needed. And then as you saw him uh, progress through that losers finals, going back into grand finals against uh, Beyond Toxins Havoc, especially again with that chameleon assist, it was perfect. It was just what Dialog needed. That was the that was the game plan. Yes, it was the game plan. Indeed, it was just pretty much constant pressure and. 
that as a, as that momentum definitely does uh, definitely did show, as you said, it was a different change of pace when it came from him fighting the um, Beyond Talks in the first time versus the second time. And but it looks like our award ceremony is getting ready to go here, so oh, we'll be switching over in just a short minute. I should know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Did we say things? Can y'all hear us? Ladies and gentlemen, okay, give it up for our MK1 Top 8. I wonder if y'all can still hear us. Let me stop. <laughs> In seventh place, give it up for Zentai. Also tie for seventh, give it up for Sugar M1P. I'm not saying your whole name. We know what it is. They will look it up. Give it up for Sugar M1P Gaming. In fifth place, give it up for Infinity. <laughs> also tied for fifth place. Give it up for Aztec. Put a lot of emphasis on that ass. <laughs> In fourth place, give it up for Parsa HP. In third place, give it up for Too Easy. I was going for a handshake there. <laughs> He's just in the oh, he, he, uh, he, he, he won his, his handshake. And second place. Give it up for Dylock. And in first place, our champion. Give it up for Beyond Toxin. The Akatsuki Codes. Show it. He's got the row. He's gonna put it on. <laughs> he's like, he's like hold, hold on, let, let, let me cook real quick. Now turn around. Hit, hit the hit the kuma pose. Oh, he getting too big. He says, oh, hey. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> now that's what I like to hear. Pop that collar, man. Pop Give it up for our MK1 collar. top eight. That's gonna be MK1 top eight, just like that, guys. It's been a pleasure, Saki. It's been a wonderful time with you, Mew. And uh, happy belated birthday, Tento. Appreciate that, appreciate that. Guys, we're going to be signing off here at 10S9. This is going to be a spelling bee later, though. You guys might want to check it out because it's going to be pretty goddamn funny. But until next time, Juicy Game Night, thank you guys for the production. You guys have been great, but we're going to be signing off here today. And make sure to tune in to Blaze Blue Top 8. That's going to be on right after this. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>